Okay, with this lesson, we're looking at tan graphs. So the basic tan graph here is shown in the yellow. So if you think about the unit circle at zero, when the angle is zero, tan is zero. But then when you go to pi on two, remember that it's undefined. So that's why we're asymptoping. When the tan graph goes up, it never touches because it's undefined, so it asymptotes. So you can see that the cycle keeps repeating but if you know it only takes um, it only takes pi to complete a complete cycle so that's pi in there so the period of a tan graph is actually pi so if for a basic tan graph so if you're going to find the period of the tan graph so down here you're going to do pi divided the number in front of the angle so remember for cosine and sine it was 2 pi divided by n okay so the f the first asymptote occurs at half the period so you can see because this one's pi pi on 2 and then you add a period to that and you get the next asymptote so for a tan graph the amplitude's undefined because you can see it asymptotes up all right so if we have a look at these graphs here it says sketch the graph of each of the following for x is an element so that's just telling you the domain so if you have a look we um, only want to go from negative pi up to pi so we're only showing that part of the graph okay so we should go about and find first the period so it will be pi divided by n and in this case it was 2 so pi on 2 is the period and the amplitude, as we said, it didn't really matter. That's not going to affect. So remember that the first asymptote is at half, um, at half the period. So half of a half is a quarter. So you got pi on four. So we sketched in here pi on four, and then we add another period, which would be then three pi on four. Okay, and then you'd add another. Um, half a period so we see we go up to here okay now this is a positive tan graph so we start there and we go up there and so on now because we've got to go negative it will go back there and we've got to keep going back all right with this second example sorry um it's got a negative so it's reflected so it means it's starting at a different so if you go back to zero we normally go up well it's going down or it's reflecting now we could get the period of this graph the period would be pi divided by 3 so um, that's the period so the asymptotes are happening at half of that which is pi on 6 so you can see I put all the asymptotes and you keep adding on a period so um, so here you've added on pi on 3 to get the next asymptote um, and say so on and then they will so because we wanted to same domain as the question before so we've put them all in there okay so we're going to go back and look at some of these equations for solving for tan so solve each of the equations for x. So what they've said here, we could have um, how many solutions? So if you think we're going backwards to negative pi and we're also going forwards to pi. Okay, so if you look here, the period is um, 1, it is still pi. So first of all, when does pi equal negative 1? So if we look through, um, if we put the, the 45 finger down, we'd have the square root left over the right, so that'd be 1. So when it's 45, but we need tan to be negative. So remember, cast. So in the third, tan's negative in second and fourth quadrant. So if you see here, second and fourth okay so it is when you've gone 
that distance into those quadrants. So we remember 45 is pi on 4. So it's when we've gone back here, pi on 4. So pi minus pi on 4 would be the 3 pi. And then also if um, in the fourth quadrant, Okay, now because we only want to go between pi and negative pi, if I go around here in the positive direction, that'll be out of my domain. But if I go backwards into the negative area, back that way, that will be okay. So I can say if I go backwards once, I'll get that backwards answer. All right, now with the next example, um, so the period for this one, is pi divided by 2 okay and they want to know when it equals square root 3 so remember pi 10 with exact values is the square root left over right so I need the three fingers here so that means I've put that one down which is pi on 3 so 10 equals square root 3 when it's pi on 3 now remember we said just ignore that it's um, the, peer, the 2 here and we're just going to pretend when it's normal so when is 10 um, equal to square root 3 when we have pi on 3 so if you think of the unit circle we've got pi on 3 now 10 is also positive over here so it'd be pi plus pi on 3 so the two answers we'd have is pi on 3 and 4 pi on 3 okay now, because we have to go the minus way too, so if we're going minus, it would be not quite at negative pi. It'd be just short of it. So that's where we've got the negative 2 pi. And we keep going around. If we kept going around, it would be just before we get to negative 2 pi, which is this final answer. Now, because the question wasn't, it was 2x. So what you've got to do is you take your answers that we got up here. Remember, we bring the 2 down, whatever number's here, and we times them by 2. Because it's like you're moving that 2 over. And it's times in here to divide on the other side. So then you get these answers. Now, remember, these answers have to fit into the original domain. So they have to be in between those two values which they are okay um here they want me to sketch the graph of um tan 2x so i've found the period which is a half and i've worked out the asymptotes are at a quarter so i've put all them in and i've gone as far as i need to now we've moved it up one so where we would normally start here that's moved up so our zero line essentially is now on y equals one and that's where we start it from and the twist will happen and so on so that one would actually sorry this one should actually go like that all right now you can see you have a y intercept and x intercepts so here we've found out so 10 we're trying to find the intercept. So 10, 2x plus 1 equals 0. We've let y equal 0 to get the x-intercepts. And so here we go about, and it ends up being like um, finding solutions. So you found you find it for normal here. So here's where the normal is because it's 2 we times by 2. So we know this is the x-intercepts. That's when it crossed the x-axis and you pop them in there.